Hello, I'm Dr. Nordquist. Uh, we're going to do a little demonstration on the DECA Ultra Speed CO2 laser. Uh, the wavelength is 10,600 and the mode of operation is that that wavelength works in water and it actually vaporizes tissue. So what we've done is uh, use different settings and we came up with a setting of 4 watts continuous and what that seems to do is do a very nice vaporization and removable gingival sulcus and you'll see that in our surgical demonstration. Then we take some of the material that came out of the curatage and put it on a slide and take a look at it under the microscope. Once we've got done with treatment then we come back in one week and then do another curatage out of the sul uh, sulcus and see what results we have uh, microscopically after one week. So let's get started. Our sample and this patient had many different types of spirochetes. Here's a fairly broad looking spirochete, very wide and long, but she also had fine spirochetes as well. But we're going to treat this patient with a CO2 laser and see what happens. Okay, what we're doing is we're taking the CO2 laser and we're doing a digital curatage. We just gently sweep it around the tube and it just basically takes out the lining of the visual sulcus and where the granulation tissue is just kind of bubble and you can see the granulation tissue coming up on the, the uh, perio tip now once we've gone around <coughs> with the perio tip and I just go in and I just remove the sulcus with a curette See, there's the gingival sulcus right, right there in my curette. And I'm just going all the way around the tube and just removing that diseased tissue. See, there's the gingival sulcus. And what we did is we put some of that on a glass slide. And we're going to put that under the microscope and see if we are able to kill all of the the bacteria in the mouth, including the spores. So I'm going to stick that in the microscope soon and then we'll see what that looks like. Okay, this is a slide we just took of the tissue we took out with the gingival curatage. And there's literally no evidence whatsoever any viable bacteria in this uh, sample. And just basically hardly anything recognizable, although there's a little bit of blood there, but that blood came out after the surgery. They're just uh, kind of nondescript tissue with a few red blood cells here and there. So nothing remarkable. It looks like the, the CO2 laser literally goes in and, and uh, vaporizes most of the sulcus and then what we're looking at is what's remaining I don't know that looks like a spore but it doesn't have the same shape it looks like that's been disturbed in some way if that um, is a cyst or a spore it doesn't look normal so it definitely is affected There's just nothing there that you can make or even has any resemblance to a bacteria or what we identified as cysts or spores or cell wall deficient bodies, whatever you want to call them. This is a sample of um, the gingival sulcus one week after the laser surgery and it was very difficult to find anything. We did find this one spore looking body but it's somewhat irregular and I'm not sure if that is a viable spore or not. But going through this sample, basically there's this nondescript material. Uh, that's an epithelial cell, um, but nothing remarkable. And um, 
looking through the sample, there are very little, if any, bacteria. There's particles moving around, but I think that's Brownian movement, so I'm not sure whether it's bacteria. At least there's no mobile bacteria one week after we get done with this surgery. So this is very typical of what that whole sample looked like when we went in and curataged the uh, sulcus one week later and removed whatever we could and put it under slide and this is what it looks like. <clears throat> one week later uh, we just showed the uh, microscopic of these sulcus um, just previous to this but um, it's amazing how good the tissue looks one week prior. If we did full periodontal surgery on this patient, she would be in pain for two weeks. However, when we do a laser treatment, even though we remove the gingival sulcus, this patient was comfortable the next day and the tissue looks this good one week later.